Hi everyone, this is the Frenchy Ultimate Byte and today I'm gonna show you how to install a CSGO server on Linux using SSH in less than 5 minutes. <laughs> to do so, go to gameservermanagers.com and find Counter-Strike Global Offensive. There. Keep that page open, because you're gonna need it later. Select your distro to install the required dependencies. Login into your server using SSH if not done already. Now install the required packages. To do so, I prefer login to root, then install them manually. As always, you should update your software repository first using apt-get update. And we are done with it. Fine. Next, create a user for your game server. Its name doesn't matter. Log into that new user. Download LGSM script. Make it executable with chmod plus x. It usually changes color. You can edit CSGO server right now if you want. Here you can find some variables. We can change the default map, the max amount of players, the tick rate, ports, useful for running multiple servers and the IP address used to monitor your game server or if your machine has several IP addresses. But you can already install the server without setting this. Point slash CSGO server install starts the process. Continue? Yes. It automatically installs TeamCMD. It connects to an anonymous account to Steam. No need to own that game to download it. It then retrieves script functions when needed. And the game downloads. Of course, download speed will depend on your server. Once it's done, if it worked, answer yes. I advise you to install Game Server Query for advanced crash detection. Default server config are installing. You can then choose a server name that you can and change next. You can choose an Archon password, but it's not compulsory. You will find the config file allowing you to change those settings in server file csgo cfg csgo server.cfg. Next, you're gonna need the GSLT that you can create here. You have to do one per game server. It allows your server to be authenticated and linked to your Steam account. So don't be foolish with that server. It allows players adding your server to favorites to keep it even after an IP change. I won't set one for that example, but please note that it has become compulsory. At this point, if you already run some other sorts engine servers, you'd really better change the ports and set an IP. If needed, you can configure the GSLT right there. Now you can start your server that will apply some fixes for you automatically. You can display the console with CSGO server console. Quit it and close the server, press Ctrl C. But to let it running in background, press Ctrl B, then D. To monitor your server and use functions automatically, you can use cron jobs that I advise you to do as root. To do so, log into root. Type crontab e Then you can add scheduled tasks that will look like this. This one is a monitor every 3 minutes. And this is an automatic reboot every day at 5 o'clock. 
Of course, you can schedule any command you like, like an update for example. And here you go, your server runs like a clockwork. The only thing left is to install your favorite admin plugin that will probably be Swords Mod, which is linked in the description. Thanks for watching, have a nice game, and see you next time. Lamas need.